Hi, I'm Madonna, and I want to wish everybody in Australia a Merry Christmas. And again, without the sound? Okay. <laughs> okay. Blah! Hi, I'm Madonna, and I want to wish everybody in Australia a Merry Christmas. Don't talk that way. Shut up. Hi, I'm Madonna, oh, and I want to wish everybody in Australia a Merry oh, no. Christmas. Just do it properly, please. <laughs> That is proper. It's not fucking proper. Hello. <laughs> Hi, I'm Madonna, and I want to wish everybody in Australia a Merry Christmas. Oh, it sounds so sincere. I mean, I mean we can't wait for fucking Easter. <laughs> Fuck. Hi, I'm Ma I'm Merry Christmas, and I want to. <laughs> Okay, you guys. <laughs> my husband told me to get the hair out of my face, and I want to wish you a Merry Christmas because that's why. <laughs> what? Because Molly told me to. Because Molly's really a jerk. Anyway, a <laughs> Molly's a nerd. Hi, everybody. I want to wish everybody in Australia a Merry Christmas, okay? Okay. Turn your TV off now. <laughs> the whole reason I got into this business is because I want to be near people and I want to communicate with people. And I, want, I don't want to have a separation. I don't want to hide from people. And that's why it upsets me when I can't walk around the street because the paparazzi bother me or whatever. Because I like to be around people. I like to be near people. I don't want to be, an, I want to be approachable. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I, I want to be, I want people to see that I'm a human being with the same faults and the same problems and the same fears I don't want to I'm not I don't want to be this super elusive you know ethereal being that you can't really get to I don't want to I want I don't want that kind of mystery because I don't think it's real and I think people grow tired of of having to second guess you and 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 they grow tired of of feeling like you don't really want to have anything to do with them as people I, I don't think that I'm better than anybody else your favorite song and then your favorite performance. Get into the groove. Why? I don't know. I guess get into the groove to me sort of encapsulated everything I'd done from the beginning of my musical career to where I was standing out on the stage. And it also meant a lot to me that the guy that I wrote it with and the guy that I, the made, made produced the record with me Steve. had been some Stephen Bray was somebody that I'd been with since my childhood. So he sort of came through it all the way with me, and, and that made, meant a lot to me. And it was also in the first movie I ever did. If you stripped away the Madonna character, mm -hmm. what would they be? The person you're looking at. That's me, you know. When I'm singing on stage, that's me. It's just one part of my personality. Um, now take a movie role, for instance, that might be somebody else if I choose to be that somebody else. But everybody, no matter what they're doing, whether you're on stage singing or you're playing a character in a movie or whatever, you always bring part of yourself to something. Nothing is completely you and nothing is completely devoid of you or right. void of you or whatever. Have you been clever to the point that other people may have under underestimated your talent? Oh, yeah, but that's really fun because that way, if everyone underestimates you, you keep giving them little surprises. If they get you all in one glance, then what's, what's going to make them look again? Madonna, the word Madonna on the world means news. How do you cope with that? I think it's great. <laughs> I mean, the fact that people are interested in what I'm doing only pushes me more to you know, keep coming up with new and interesting ways to express myself. So. Obviously, an artist wants an audience, and it's going to be something, it's going to be a plus.